Welcome to the Jessup's YouTube channel. My name is Mike. And I'm Heather. And we are from the Jessup's Academy team. And in this video, we are going to do some light trails. And we're going to be using the Nanguan TRGB 1212B and do a little bit of a field test. But I'm not going to be taking the photos. Heather, you're going to be handling that. Cool. And I've got the Panasonic S1 here. And yeah, we're just going to have some fun down here in the city. So Heather, you've dragged me out into the city and it's raining and you've got a bit more experience in this type of photography than I do. So what sort of things are we looking for in our shots? We're looking for the same sort of things we'd be looking for in daylight. So interesting composition, leading lines, rule of thirds and just a little smidge of ambient light will be nice. And the rain is actually going to work to our advantage because we are going to get really cool reflections from the light that we introduce. So I guess we need to wait for it to get a little bit darker before we get started. Just a smidge. Yeah, that should work. What are we looking for in this shot? So we've got some nice leading lines uh, running down here. We've got some really nice uh, twinkly lights and we've got excellent reflection coming off of all the puddles on the floor. So how long an exposure can we get at this sort of level of light? Um, at the moment, with ISO 100 to have the lowest sensitivity on the sensor, uh, I'm getting about a full second. So aperture's also stopped all the way down as well. Um, and yeah, two seconds, not quite but a second comes out quite nicely. Um, the reason we brought this light is because you have 800 colours to choose from, um, as well as varying hues, because there is a lot of control on the TRGB 1212B. And what colour would you like? Purple to match your jacket? Yeah, go on, let's see how it looks. All right, so purple should be easy enough. It is about there. Um, so I've just come down to a lower angle because it helps those lines appear as if they're going to meet in the distance, uh, so making the vanishing point. Um, it overall just makes it a bit more dramatic and uh, a bit more effective. Go! Yes, buttery smooth. So it's got a little bit darker, uh, but it is properly hammering down this rain. It has its pros and cons. Uh, pro, there's not a lot of people around, so we've been able to get um, a few shots undisturbed, but the kit is getting pretty wet. What do you want to do differently in this shot? Okay, so we haven't got a lot longer on our shutter speed. I've been able to take it down to five seconds. That's still with ISO 100 and uh, F22 for my aperture. Those uh, string lights are our main uh, light source. It'd be really nice to have a color from the the, what's it called, Mike? Uh, this is the Nangwan RGB1212B. <laughs> if we could get a contrasting colour out of that, that would be quite good. So what are you enjoying about having the Nangwan in your shot? The adjustable power has been great because we've had such changing light and we've been messing about with the shutter speed, trying to get as long as we can. So that's fantastic that it's not messing up my exposures. And just the range of colours that it can do is phenomenal. I'm almost a bit dumbfounded. It's spoiled for choice. Yeah. Yep, and we've been out here for a while and the battery is holding on with absolutely no problem at all. Uh, and even though it's not officially weather sealed, it's having absolutely no problem with its rain as well. How are you enjoying uh, taking photos with uh, the Snangwan light? Uh, so I'm really enjoying the light, definitely not enjoying the weather, but I'm really impressed at how much it's tolerated, the abuse that we've put it through, and I'm looking forward to doing a few more. All right, so uh, let's um, see where else we can get some photos and what kind of shots we can get. Time for a montage.
If you've enjoyed this video, give us a like and hit subscribe. And don't forget that bell icon so you'll be notified every time we upload a video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. How does that shot look?